Okay, so the question here is, should you wear headphones while doing voiceover? This is what we're going to talk about in this video. Okay, so should a voiceover artist wear headphones while narrating or doing voiceover? That's a good question. And honestly, it really depends on your environment, your recording studio. If you have less than a perfect uh, recording environment, a recording studio, I would say that headphones are most likely a must. Um, it's very, it's going to be very difficult to ensure that you have consistency while you record. If you do not have a decent recording studio or recording environment, consistency is king when it comes to uh, voiceover here with your environment. You want to create as much consistency as possible within your recording environment. That's one of the reasons why I invested so much money in this whisper room. Consistency is going to save you so many headaches and so much time along the way. Now, personally, I've stopped using headphones altogether. I may do an initial um, audio check with the headphones. Um, I got these over here, and I got some Sennheisers out in the, uh, in the office. That's where I do most of my recordings. Uh, excuse me, that's where I do most of my editing. I don't edit in my booth. And that's primarily the difference between me and some other uh, voiceover artists. Uh, some may actually edit in the booth. And the booth is hot enough. <laughs> I like to do what I got to do, get out, go over to the office, and then edit from there using the headphones and be good to go. There are times when it makes logical sense to go and to use headphones, even in a controlled environment like the Whisper Room. And the number one thing that comes into my mind is if you're doing a live session, you know, where someone is directing you while you're performing. And that is the number one reason why I could see to wear headphones. Um, if you have a consistent recording environment, again, the environment that you have uh, for recording is really going to make or break you. So more than anything else, focus on getting your recording environment, your recording studio as quiet as possible, as consistent as possible. And that's going to save you a lot of headaches along the way. I found for me that the headphones were more like a shackle that kept me held down. And I really saw an increase in my ability to perform and act once I stopped using them. You know, if you have the proper mic technique, the proper mic placement, you know, and you have a controlled environment, you can neutralize a lot of things that will come up to potentially give you headaches. And the things that do come up, well, that's why you have editing software to deal with those things. And a lot of things nowadays with the software that's out there can actually just be removed. If there's clicks, if there's pops, um, as you can see, I don't even use a pop filter. I think they are completely unnecessary if you're using the proper mic technique and the proper mic placement. You know, that's just me. Other people with other situations and other circumstances, they're going to need a pop filter. You know, if you don't have a controlled environment, if you have a different setup, you may need a pop filter. You may be using a completely different kind of mic. But what I'm saying is, regarding the headphones, is if you have a controlled environment, they're really optional. It's your call. If you prefer to edit on the fly as you're recording, you know, go back, redo it. That's completely your call. But they're not necessary if you're editing outside of your booth or your studio. Completely not necessary. Again, if you do not have uh, a decent recording studio environment where there, and you have a lot of variables with the sound that you're dealing with, then I would really advise you to wear headphones. But 
It just depends on your environment, your recording environment, as to if you actually need to wear them or not. So that's my tip for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you'll go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I look forward to providing you some more tips and tricks and tools, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.